It's Sunday morning and we're going to start the project again. It's pouring down outside. Yeah. Got this up here. Andover Norton. Oh, so okay. Just fits in there and you can put a screw in. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, screw. It's very much the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this has got the both. The two oh, ones. okay. All right. I've never seen that one before. I don't know where it came That's from. That's cool. I was just going to peer in there and just see how much oil is in there. It looks like about, the, about what you'd expect. I might yeah. not have had this apart since I put it together all those years ago. Yeah, got it, got it, great, great. Oh, yeah. Wow, oh. a bike with oil in it. Yeah. That could do we being a little yeah, it's a tighter. Little, little loose. It's, I, just you a know, little. I don't know. Yeah, it is just a little a bit. bit, not too bad. The, I, I think they're better loose than tight. But yeah, yeah, for sure. Because, you know, even these, these things are a little bit flexible. Yeah. I think there is even a mod to mount a, you know, an outrigger bearing, because this is quite a long shaft that's not supported, it goes all the way back into the transmission and it's got the two chains on it. In fact, I think sometimes if you tighten the drive, if you tighten the drive chain up, yeah. it will tighten this chain. It, it will, it will, you're right. Um, it's like you have to do the yeah, in concert, yeah, don't it's, you? It's not a very yeah. uh, rigid arrangement. Yeah. This smells a bit like, which I think normally happens, there's a bit of gearbox oil yeah. found its way into that. Yeah. There's a, a mod, a seal you can get. Um, to prevent that from happening. It doesn't seem to have caused a problem with this bike, but on the other one, on my other one, the gearbox oil will contaminate the clutch plates. It comes through on the push rod. It comes through with the push rod. Yeah, yeah, we are starting to disassemble the clutch yeah, and well, the stator and the rotor. This will all have to come off. Yeah, the whole lot comes off. Yeah, I usually kind of like take it off and then let, it use, let it dangle, yeah. cable tight, so you don't put any stress on this yeah. point here. Yeah. You know, as you disassemble the clutch and then the front sprocket as well, and then they come off together, obviously, as one unit, because right. it's a continuous chain. Impact wrench as well. So well, let's just see what happens. Well, guess what? Wow. I think it did it. That must have been. So now just to take these off now, these three so we're nuts. we take those off. Yep. Oh, look at that. This is fun. Like, we need to pull more motorcycles apart. <laughs> we can do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's putting them back together <laughs> again. That's them the apart challenge. That's the easy part. There we go. See this? Yeah, this, great. Yeah. Oh, maybe I glued it on. There's no way to just pull that through. You should, yes. It yeah. feels like it's... It's very tight. You just have to be real oh, careful. You don't yeah. put too much stress on that Yeah, because that's where it'll break. Oh, there we go. I should get it off. That's it. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Great. All right, Great. should we... Uh, let's, um, I usually just cable tie it up or something like that. Yeah, so. let's do that so yeah. we don't... Uh, okay. And let's take that off so we don't lose That's it. That's the Woodruff key there coming out and the spacer. Okay. Just undo that note. This is your adjusting screw, and obviously. We... And then I've got the, the, the tool that compresses okay. this uh, diaphragm plate, right. okay. pushes it in, and then you remove this spring. Because we've got to get to the nut that holds this on. We then we have the task that can be yeah. quite a challenge. Yes. Is pulling this off. Oh, yeah. Don't need Just until yeah. it becomes loose, that's it, yeah. Right. It'll actually start to spin. There ah, you go. Well. There we are. That's what we're looking for. That's it. Now we've taken all the pressure off. I usually start it off. Just put a little flat uh, bladed screwdriver in there. You just pull one little bit out and then essentially uncoil it. Kind of lift it as you, as you take it off as well because it's in a slot, it's in a groove. Kind of lift it up. Yeah, just, yeah, that's it. Pull down as you do it. That's it. Oh, that's yeah. there and, then, it, and then the secret that's going to fall right. away. So okay. yeah, I got it. Oh, you you got it? Yep, yep. The secret is to leave this tool on it right. as well, not to try and disassemble that. Got a little rust, rust there, little surface rust. So good opportunity to clean these up as well. Just a little, hmm. a little condensation in there, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. It's all soaked in oil, so yeah. it might have been like that when yeah. I put it in. Um, you know, this bike was boxed with parts. So, patient. 
All right, now to get- We're gonna bend that tab back. Tab washer and then this nut. Yeah. This That's it. I would never use it, obviously, putting them on because no. you, you're talking them down, aren't you? But yeah. it's that well, impact. It's a shock that does it. It then. is, isn't but it? If yes. you don't have that, then you've got to lock everything down. So you're ready to go there. Yeah, I think that's 90 degrees there, Jeff. Yeah. I don't want to break it too. <laughs> Done. That's it. <laughs> that always gives you quite a shock, doesn't it? It does. That came off way easier than I expected. I think the secret is to do this before you take the clutch. So I will just hold on you to hold this. hold on to that. I'll you work around you. you. I'll just pull that whole lot off together. Through that. Okay. Oh, look at that. Great. Boy. Fantastic teamwork there. You hang that again until that case I'll comes off. I'll this back on, I guess, I guess, because uh, it'd be nice. <laughs> oh, grab it. Uh, yes. Now, you know, you know, Mike, if you have a tub full of oil anywhere nearby, <laughs> sooner or later you can drop your wrench in the tub of oil. There we go. Shall you I got it? it in the oil? No. Okay, the keys look good. Well, these three bolts or screws here, we just have to get rid of those tab washers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Little hammer and screwdriver. Yeah, I, I use like a wallpaper scraper. Yes, yeah. I, I told you, I bought this bike as boxes of parts. I paid $400 for it. It had been boxes of parts for years. It was one of those deals where, you know, the guy, everything's here, you know, it's a complete bike. And then of course, when we started looking through it, oh, where's this, oh, where's that? And a whole lot of it. And it had changed owners as boxes of parts yeah. a few times. Yeah. For example, the crankshaft was missing. That's how disassembled the motor was. And I'm rummaging through all the, trying to verify what was there and what wasn't there. And finally I said to the guy, look, I'll give you another hundred dollars if you can find the crankshaft. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's here something, I'll find it. I never Never heard from them again. Yeah. Well, I had to buy a crankshaft. <laughs> oh, shit. Mode. So we'll just snip this and then that ho hopefully should just lift away. Okay, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Let me take that end. Uh, Famous last words. We can try from the back, you know. Yeah, that's, I was going to get to see if I can find a piece of wood that'll fit. Oh, yep, that's it. Yeah, nice one. Nice one. That was a tight fit. You've got a gasket that's sticking it on yeah, there as well so good so now we just have to chuck this and then the whole lot will come away now yeah yeah that, there we go there we go okay. they recommend that you know you replace that seal while you while you're at this point which i'm of course not going to do because i no. didn't buy a replacement plus you know this is a low miles engine you know i would have put a new seal in there when i rebuilt the engine I don't know that's dry as a bone though you can tell how it's held on really it well wasn't that. Leaking at all, was yeah it? that was great yeah so it was all that that's all it was plus you know it's on this boss here as well so yeah and that's, it was a nice that's, tight that's fit that's sealant that. i think here this is all sealant. Yeah. so it was well and truly glued on and yeah like you said clearly not leaking oil i mean we'll just make sure you know make sure things are tight yeah. we're not going to replace the seal that's but we're going to have to clean off. that yeah. yeah, because they're saying don't use a gasket, just use sealant. And so that's what we'll do. So we're going to have to clean that surface up. You see how well that paints? Yeah, that work? works. Oh, it's taking the sealant off as well. Yeah, that softened the sealer. Yeah, right. which is interesting. I wasn't expecting that, but that's nice. Sometimes you have to do this, you know, a couple of times. But this is actually going very well. One of the issues you have is the case is only attached to the motor here, and then it's supported there. And you have to shim this to make sure that when you tighten the cover up, you're not um, yes. bending the yeah. case where it's attached. We need to make sure the case clears the, the swing arm. The end of the swing arm. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I guess there must be a clearance issue. Several places mentioned after putting these screws in and then making sure the crank turns freely. So they must have an issue with. I don't know whether those screws can go through far enough to. Uh, Oh really? If they hit the crank shaft, I don't know. They've gone to a lot of trouble to explain this hole, haven't they? Yeah, yeah it's even quite a nice man. 